you probably clicked on this thumbnail thinking it was a Dynamo video. But it was me, Thomas WP2706, if you haven't figured it out by now. I have taken on the role of reviewing this ship from Dynamo after not even he could stomach reviewing this ship. Which frankly says a lot considering he managed to review the Inbreadable. Anyways though, I hope this video meets your expectations not only for you Dynamo fans out there but also for my wonderful audience as well, however small. But enough babbling on, let's get on with the review. Ship. Review. The Graf Zeppelin is a tier 8 German carrier, and is what anyone that has quite literally any other tier 8 carrier is not playing right now. Actually let me correct that previous statement. She is a light cruiser that has a flight deck strapped on her with totally historical aircraft on her. Since spoiler alert she is more effective at being a light cruiser rather than an actual carrier. This is because she is German therefore she was of course subject to Ouija's political ideology rather than actual balancing. She started life in the RTS days being a decently balanced CV for the time that many CCs liked and so she was made for a lease. Except Wargaming decided to pull a 200 IQ move and give the public a different ship that was so insultingly bad that the reaction from a certain CC resulted in him being sent to Gulag. She was then pulled and toyed with even more until the holy grail that was the CV rework dawned upon us and then she was given to us in a state that was not much better than she was when she was first released. We start with the torpedo planes which are the only decent planes on this floating waste of time. They are composed of the totally historical German torpedo bombers the tier 1, 5, 2, and are totally not high altitude interceptors, they are fast, but have almost no health with the torpedoes being slow, and having mediocre damage. You use these as your main form of damage in this carrier, you target thick ships and anything that is stationary, or have separated themselves from the pack, until they reach AA cover or simply stop existing from too many shaftings by metal swimming schnitzels. Next come more totally historically accurate rocket planes which are painfully slow compared to the torp planes and once again have shit health pools. However the payload that they carry which is the result, if the tiny Tims and HVARs had a very good and steamy time can be quite workable. They have good pen, damage and fire chance combined with a good ellipse makes them pretty good that can damage almost anything that is not a British carrier or German and Russian battleship. You make use of these as your omnipurpose weapons, whether you need to clap some lala boat cheeks, set some fires on a poor sod or just make sure they die in one pass. Finally we come to the totally historical scout planes, I mean the AP bombers. Let's just make this clear. They are a steaming pile of horse wank, and you only use them at the start of the match, to throw away for scouting, or at the end when you literally can't throw anything else other than your carrier which is actually preferable in that circumstance as the damage from that is way more reliable than the bombs on these things, which have the equivalent reliability of an old German car. To give you an idea of how bad these things are point this is how many double citadels I have gotten. This is how many single citadels I have gotten. The only two good things about these bombers is the speed and the Jericho trumpet sound it makes when making an attack run, which leads to the main event of this thing. Hmm. A few moments later. Prepare to die. Cock. Oh! <laughs> 
The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Won't stop hurting. You feel it too, don't you? Nah! Of course everyone knows that the best part about this fail waffen is the secondaries which can go up to 9.4 kilometers, and for some reason have improved secondary dispersion unlike the battleships of the same nation, along with quarter HE pen. Considering the mediocrity of its aircraft, you can run full secondary build and lose almost nothing and will come in handy for when angry DDs are after your flat German ass and they capitulate under a storm of exploding kartoffels. Actually, let's just let that sink in for a moment. German battleships which were designed to be brawlers have worse secondaries than a ship that is designed to sit at the back of map and launch aircraft with little to no harm coming its way. This is some 200 IQ design wargaming. Great job. This is how you set up this floating failure. You take Air Groups Mod 1, Aircraft Engines Mod 1, Secondaries or Torpedo Mod, whether you are setting it up either the wrong or the right way, Torp Bomber Health, and then finally Flight Control Mod 1 or Concealment, if you are that much of a madman. For Captain Skills you take Improved Engine Boost, Torpedo Acceleration, Survivability Expert, Advanced Firing Training, and then Concealment. Then afterwards you can pick whatever the fuck you want. This is how you play the Graf Zeppelin. Now get out there and just forget this ship exists. Seriously no matter how many videos there are of GZs abusing DD's smoke to allow them to farm and the 8, 9, 9 division me. It does not change the fact this thing is a floating piece of crap that should just be forgotten about. Literally all the other tech tree carriers are better than this thing as well as all the premiums. The only time you ever get to use these secondaries is when your team fails and everyone is after you in which you die anyway from sheer focus fire without time for your secondaries to do jack shit, or you get a DD. That is dumb enough to rush you solo. It requires very specific circumstances to do well and which happens almost none of the time. The problem stems in the fact that you sacrifice too much in the way of aircraft which actually matters to a carrier in order to get secondaries which require you to get into shooting range of everyone on the team in a class which is designed to be right at the back of the map out of harm's way. It just doesn't work and trust me everyone will be shooting you when you get spotted because everyone wants to farm you for free damage and the fact nearly everyone hates CVs so they will all focus you. I got mine from the Black Friday sale and the only reason I have had to play this thing is to get gameplay for this review. It is an overall frustrating experience, and not one I would recommend, and I would highly encourage you to save your money for something more worthwhile than this pixelated garbage.